hello everyone and welcome back to my channel so for today's tutorial i will be learning how to make a fabric max this is very very essential where you can't find a surgical max you know during this time of coronavirus we have to you know protect our nose and mouth so but please make sure that um you try as much as possible to get a surgical max it's preferable but when you can't find it in stores you can actually make use of a fabric mask and this fabric mask you can actually do it at home on your own so that's that so the first thing to do is to take your this box i'm having here it's actually five inch like here it's five inches and here it's five inch you can see it they are all five inch so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to mark 1.5 I'm going to mark 1.5 here and then I'll come down and mark one inch one inch here then I'll take the midpoint of those um, of this line we know that here is five inch and so the midpoint is 2.5 2.5 so I'm going to draw a curve to connect these three dots that's one two three that's the 1.5 I marked here the one inch I marked it and then the uh, midpoint of this line and I'm going to use the armhole curve to do that I'm trying to make sure that the three lines touch So you can see it. I'm going to connect the three lines. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to mark two inches, two inch here on this line, two inch. And then I'll also use a curve to connect this. I'm going to connect this from here to here. I hope you can see it. And then the next is to mark one inch here. one inch and then I'll use a straight I'll connect this line this dot to this one with a uh, with a straight line so we now have our draft for the our pattern for the max so the next thing to do is to go out and cut out this pattern I'm going to take out the maxing tape I use in holding the paper. I'm going to cut out this pattern. As you can see, we now have our pattern. So the next thing is to bring the fabric that we are going to be using. This is the fabric that I'll be using and this is the lining I'll be using for it. So what I'll do is to go ahead and fold.
so you can see it's So I'm going to cut, also cut same for the lining for this pattern, this is the fabric and this is the lining. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to place the wrong side, that's the right side to the right side, like this and so. I'm going to use about a quarter inch to sew it and I'll also do the same for this one. I'll just use a quarter inch to sew it. So after sewing, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. When you open it up, this is going to be. This one is going to be. Make sure that you press it out. Currently, there is no light. For those of you that are not in Nigeria, I'm in Nigeria and presently there is no light. We don't normally have a constant light. And it's like 2 a.m. so I can't use a charcoal iron to press. It's late for me to start, you know, fixing my charcoal iron for me to press this. So, but when doing it on your own, make sure that you give it a good press. Give it a good press. Then after that, what you do is you face the right side. To the right side you see right side to, to the right side you bring your rubber band there are different types of rubber band there is a black there is a white but one I have at home presently is white so I think the black one would have been better but since it's not available I'm going to make use of this white rubber band so this is how you place it like this then cover it and then sew it you stitch it i'm going to use a pin to hold it down Make sure you arrange the um, rubber properly so that it won't um, get twists. remember you just you know take uh the length that will be okay for you for mine i did i used seven inch is it seven i think so i think it's seven without stretching it i used seven so i can see it properly i used seven but you can go ahead use your own measurements my seven was okay for me so take note after that, I'll come over to the side. Make sure that the rubber band is not showing at this edge. It's not, you didn't bring it, I just leave a little space, just a little. So 
so what i'll do now is to make sure that this place aligns that the fabric aligns with the lining that i'm going to sew here all round i'm going to at the down part i'm going to leave a small space that i'll use to turn it i'm going to leave a small space that i'll use to turn it so let me go to the sewing machine remember that if you don't have a sewing machine you can actually use your needle and thread to um sew it so let me go and sew here i'm going to sew here round then i'll leave a little space here that i'll use to turn it so after sewing this is what i have you can see it this is what i have remember i said i'm going to leave a small opening here this is it so i'm going to use this opening to turn it to the right side Make sure you give it a good press after that. But this is basically what we'll be having. Make sure you give it a good press. You see it? So the next thing to do is to close up this opening. I'm going to fold a little, I'm going to fold it a little bit here and here. I'm going to fold the line and the fabric a little bit like this. And then stitch here close up the hole and that's that after doing that i'll go ahead and press it and after pressing it it's going to come out very very nice please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also share with your friend please be safe try as much as possible to stay indoors wash your hand properly maintain your personal hygiene and God will see us through this situation in Jesus' name. Amen. So it's like, come your way next time. Do have a lovely, lovely, lovely day. Bye-bye.